All right, so um, uh, these are just uh, uh, general uh, highlights about invoking this copy string procedure from C++. And uh, just to note that, of course, uh, compiler, C++ compiler, automatically adds the underscore and the at eight suffix uh, to the end of the public procedure copy string. So where can we make it visible? Uh, just just to make sure that we we uh, definitely can confirm that this is the case. So overall, uh, what we can do, we should be able to see name decoration like this in our debugging environment. Uh, for instance, if I just set a breakpoint somewhere when we run, uh, before we run it, and go to uh, debug, start debugging, I'm expecting this code to stop in uh, in our uh, procedure copy string. So it makes a stop. I just quickly switch to uh, uh, disassembly view. And uh, so disassembly uh, relies on the actual name, um, the, the, the name that was created for, for this procedure in both C++ and assembly, uh, in both modules. And you can see it here. So it's clearly... Uh, you know, being decorated as expected according to standard call uh, calling convention. So we just uh, need to be aware of it. However, again, if the calling convention is the same here and here, uh, which is can also be specified directly with the procedure uh, declaration, right? We can say standard call right here um, next to the to the procedure, uh, whichever way. Uh, we just um, we just have to know that we're coordinating this, these names nicely without much uh, decoration. However, uh, if we're if we need to debug or, or continue using it uh, with other um, uh, calling convention uh, being default or otherwise, we just need to be aware of it. And the second way of doing this, as as shown in our handout, is actually to disassemble uh, to disassemble. Um, uh, the uh, compiled module. And by the way, uh, here we're just about to uh, take a look at the release version of our program. So why don't we do this as well? So I'm just going to uh, say debug, stop debugging, uh, remove this breakpoint. Normally I like to take away, uh, delete these breakpoints as soon as I'm done debugging uh, whatever I needed to see with this breakpoint. And so my next step would be to switch to the release build. All right, so this is the release build, release x86. So this is just uh, something that you should always remember to try, uh, because of course uh, when you ship your product, normally you ship your release build, which is optimized. And the uh, second reason uh, is that uh, the, the library used by the linker changes from the debug to the release. So it's definitely very important to test uh, both of the builds. And we're just going to say build. And uh, so what we get is a bit of a uh, complaint from uh, the linker once again. Uh, so the code is being generated. However, the linker tells us that uh, the module is unsafe for uh, safe uh, exception handling. Uh, and it complains about, of course, uh, um, copy string module, right? So it just basically says this object file generated by our assembler um, does not support safe exceptions, which is true. We don't have any exception mechanism uh, built into our procedure call. So what we need to do, uh, because we're not relying on exception in our C++ code either, um, so I'm just going to make it simple and go to uh, project, uh, right, project properties, and uh, we need to make a change in two places. And we did this way back when we first uh, started building assembly programs, but now it's time to refresh our memory on this. Let's start with uh, with assembler uh, settings, and uh, if you go down to assembler, um, my, uh, Microsoft Macro Assembler, um, project settings. Uh, always make sure that you do this for all configurations. I prefer to make changes whenever possible for all configurations. And here advanced. Um, and there's a, a field here, an option for uh, using safe exception handlers. And we're just going to say no, that we're not going to use uh, safe exception handlers because by default, 
uh, the setting is to actually use uh, the default exception handlers. So we, we can click apply at this stage, but we also have to go to linker and tell, tell the linker not to expect, not to expect uh, safe exception um, uh, handling uh, in our program. So here again, you need to go to advanced linker, advanced, and under advanced is actually the last uh, um, setting for uh, safe exception handling, and it's using different options. This is why our debugging um, debug uh, code was able to compile and release failed because we have different option options in our different configurations. Uh, debug release. So here for all configurations, I'm just going to. Uh, change it to no uh, to safe exception handling so no here as well apply and okay and uh, typically it's a good idea after making some significant changes like this in the project settings it's probably a good idea to clean first right so clean first and then uh, build uh, again just build and uh, uh, this time uh, everything is okay. We just fully built everything and uh, everything is okay. So let's just uh, make sure that we can run it. Control F5 again, it works, but this time it's a release build. And if you look at the um, at the results of the build in debug, our um, executable image is 48 kilobyte with all symbols and additional code for checking. Um, memory um, stack and everything else that debug build uh, throws into the executable so notice it's 48 kilobyte in size the release build program is 11 kilobyte uh, so this is uh, of course the release build is is quite smaller but it's very important to remember to uh, test your programs in both release and uh, debug builds just always uh, test and make sure that you can compile test execute um, and test again in both uh, configurations and uh, so going back to our uh, handout um, again to um, to to find uh, the actual uh, fully decorated name for this standard uh, call uh, calling convention procedure that we uh, um, introduced in our assembly module uh, we can disassemble the entire program disassembling a release build is uh, obviously is going to give us less things to look at and uh, that's kind of nice so this is the command to execute i'm just going to copy this uh, control c and all these uh, command uh, tools uh, uh, with the Visual Studio 2019 are available from, uh, if you scroll down to uh, Visual Studio 2019 or find uh, the set of uh, tools uh, uh, with your 2019 right here, right, and uh, expand this, there is a developer command prompt for uh, Visual Studio 2019. It used to be that you could just do it from the regular command prompt like this, but not anymore. It's just going to complain that something is wrong, whatever. So just uh, developer command prompt for Visual Studio 2019. And uh, open this command prompt. Um, of course, this is designed to point um, to a location of our project. So it's relative to our project. So my project is uh, right here, M13, so I'm just going to say uh, change directory to this and now we should be able to copy and paste this command and just run it in our command window. And notice that this is uh, uh, being redirected to um, a text file. So the output of disasm, dumb bin disasm release um, is is redirected to a text file so here we have a text file in the same uh, subfolder where release build was uh, created so this is the uh, the text file generated uh, this is the disassembly basically so i'm just going to uh, call uh, just uh, drag and drop here and you can see that uh, this is our uh, main um, so this is the actual executable image now being reversed engineered right and so this is the call to copy stream uh, and of course that's the proof of concept that yes we are using um, uh, copy stream um, 
decorated with underscore in front at eight because we require eight bytes in order to be able to um, uh, pass the parameters uh, to this function. So anyway, so let's just basically find it. Uh, where is it? And here it is, right? So it's copy string uh, right here. So uh, that's another proof that uh, the expected name decoration uh, in assembly and in uh, C, C++ environment kind of matches and everything is, is, uh, is working properly and is being linked properly as well.